Okay, good evening. Um, we are getting ready to go ahead and get started uh, with this video. This video is to update you on the beginning. She's just not used to doing any kind of videos. So we're just going to keep going and she'll just jump in. But you can't lean on the table because the camera's on the table. Okay. Okay, so... This is to make up for the meeting that anybody might have missed, and then Trinity also has extra info that she wants to add in. Um, just to start off, I will be stepping down as the lead of the troop, and Trinity will be taking over as lead of the troop. Um, I have set up the year, and we have a calendar in place, and Trinity is going to be needing everybody to come alongside of her. We need uh, at least 10, 7 to 10 volunteers at each meeting. If one adult from each, you, you can't keep this yes, right here, look. If one adult from each girl, and there's 30 girls in the troop, volunteered and is a Girl Scout member, we'll have enough adult volunteers to be able to have a very successful troop. So the, the messages that or the information that you might have missed at the meeting is, dues are at the $10 a month. They are due at the first meeting of the month. So whatever first meeting you make it to that month, the $10 is due. Um, girls earn a fun patch every week. For those of you that are from last year, you know this already. The fun patches are from the Snappy Logo site. You can go there anytime that you want um, and look up any of the patches that you see that you might be interested in helping the girls earn or if there's something in there that you'd like to um, maybe come alongside and, and teach or do with the girls, please step forward, make sure that information gets to Trinity. Um, we are also going to be including her name and phone number and all the links for the PDFs at the end. So there's a lot of information that you'll also want to make sure that you look through the notes and stuff in the end of the video. Um, girls will accumulate their Girl Scout badges to be earned twice a year after fall and cookie sales. Now last year we didn't start for fall cookies for fall sales. Um, fall sales are going to be starting on September 6th. When the girls come back, um, we will have all the materials for the fall sales and they will need to um, be registered as a Girl Scout member in order to be able to sell. So if they are not registered as a Girl Scout member at that time, they are more than welcome to still come, but they will not be able to participate in sales. Um, the rewards and the monies will be in the troop account. Good morning, or not morning, we're in the evening. Good morning. Hi, Sandra. Um, you're more than welcome to add any comments as we're going through, so if you have any questions, please feel free to add them. Um, the fall sales rewards and all the Girl Scout badges that they earn from now until the until January, those those badges will be earned and received in January. And then everything from January until the end of year in May, they'll get when the cookie sales go through. Okay? Um, tag along insurance. Tag along and anyone that is not a Girl Scout member is a tag along. So that's why it's so important that at least one adult becomes a Girl Scout member because the troop has to cover the insurance on every other person that child. is at a child, child, adult, adult grandparent, grand, everybody that comes for that child that is not a Girl Scout member, the troop has to cover insurance for. So out of the $10 comes the tag along insurance, comes the Girl Scout badges, comes the fun patches, comes the supplies for the meeting. Everything comes out of that $10. So that's why we can't do the Girl Scout badges every month. Um, when we have an awards uh, night, and there is an awards night every month, it is only for the fun patches that they earn that month. And all of the adults and everyone, all the families are welcome on the awards night, but they are only going to be earning those fun patches, and it would help out the troop if at least one of the parents that is there for the girl is a Girl Scout member, so you're not covering tag-along insurance for an entire family. Sandra, good question. I'm a member, and I'm trying to get Dova's dad to join. Excellent. So then when your family attends, we're not paying for the tag-along insurance for those two of you. So that'd be excellent. And the both of you, if you're both members, can volunteer and help out at the meetings as well. So we're very excited about that. I hope more of you do that. Okay. So these are the dates that if you did not make it to the meeting, you would want to make sure you jot these down. And, of course, if you miss it as I'm speaking, just go ahead and rewind it and listen to it again. So for September, we have September 6th, 15th, 20th, and 27th. Now the 15th is the Saturday following the second Thursday of the month. 
The reason for that is the Girl Scout office always gives us the Thursday time slot of 6 to 7.30, except for the second Thursday of the month. They have a meeting there. So we are never there on the second Thursday of the month. And we are always on a Saturday outing on the Saturday following the second Thursday of the month. And if there's a better way to say that, please, someone ever say that, that's fine. I don't know how else to say that. So we are never there on the second Thursday, and we always have a Saturday outing following the second Thursday of the month. Um, the awards assembly is on the 20th of September. So on that awards assembly, awards night, they will, it's an active awards night. Don't come like dressed up and thinking it's an awards ceremony. They're going to actively be earning a badge that night and the parents and the families are going to interact with the kids to help them earn that badge that night and then they will get their patches at the end of the meeting. It's not a ceremony, it's not a ceremony whatsoever. Everyone is interactive. Everyone is participating. Okay, so the dates for October. October 4th, 13th, 18th, and 25th. The 13th is the Saturday outing, and the 18th is the awards night. November, we have November 1st, 10th, 15th, and 29th. The 22nd is Thanksgiving. We do not have a meeting. The 10th is a Saturday. That is our Saturday outing. The 15th is the awards night. Now, for the month of December, it's kind of blocked together, and that matters because there is eight full eight months that we're counting for dues, which would be Saturday, or September, October, November. December and January are together because we only have two days in December and three in January. So we're blocking that together. February, March, April, and May. So if you wanted to, you could pay your dues for the entire year, and I know that's a lot, and maybe somebody... Some of you wanted and had asked about that on yes. Thursday night. It's $80 for the whole year, and then your, do your daughter doesn't owe any more for dues. And you're more than welcome to pay $10 in September. Maybe September's not a good month. And maybe in October, you want to pay $70 for the whole year. You could pay off the whole year at any point in time, or you could pay $10 a month, whatever works for you. Correct? Yes. Okay. Going on to December. We have December 6th and 15th. The 15th is a Saturday outing. Um... It's a possibility that they do the Hesperia Parade. That is something that they they have available, but we haven't decided on any of the Saturday outings or time frames. That's to be announced, and that will be announced at a later time. Um, the winter break will be from after the 15th, so the 16th, until the 11th. They will be There will be no meetings until that time. The 12th is the January 12th is the Saturday outing. Then we have the 17th, the 24th, and the 31st. So for December and January, you have December 6th and 15th. For January, you have the 12th, 17th, 24th, and 31st. The 12th of January, the 15th of December are both Saturday outings. So there's only... The 17th. No, the 17th is not. So the... The only days you're actually in the Girl Scout office for December and January is December 6th, the 17th, the 24th, and the 31st. The 15th and the 12th, the 15th of December, January 12th, are both Saturday outings. Okay, going on to February, you have the 7th, the 16th, the 21st, and the 28th. The 16th is the Saturday outing. The 21st is the awards night. For March, you have the 7th the 16th, the 21st, and the 28th. The 16th is a Saturday outing. Oh, I, I apologize. The 16th is a Saturday outing. The 21st is the awards night, and the 28th is their spring break. So there is no meeting on the 28th. They're breaking for spring break that, that week. Okay, following in April, you have the 4th, the 13th, and the 18th. The 13th is an awards night. Or, I'm sorry, the 13th is a Saturday, and the 18th is an awards night. She had no more questions. Um... But thank you for listening. Okay, the next one is May is the 2nd and the 11th and the 16th. Now the 2nd and the 11th, the 11th is a Saturday. The 16th is the Bridging Awards, so Daisies will bring... That's a ceremony. That's a ceremony. The, the Daisies that have done two years will bridge into Brownies. The Brown... Hello. Hi, Mercedes. Glad that you're here, hon. Mercedes, if you have any questions, feel free to add them in. I know Sandra's added some questions, and we'll answer them as we go along. The bridging is for daisies that have done two years or going into second grade. Um, the 
bridging for brownies is are those that have done two years or are going into second fourth grade and, and then the juniors are the ones that have are going into that grade so she'll talk about that later on but you'll also get all your girl scout badges at that time that you've earned from january until may so the journeys the badges the pins the all the pet no the petals will come in um january because the fall sales is in January and you get so that money by then. Just, just probably journeys. journeys. Uh, you might, they might get the journeys by then too. That you should have all the petals and journeys by the end of the year. Okay, so going on from there. Thank you, Mercedes. Uh, we had some. We had uh, somebody asked, can they start selling fall product sale now? You will get the whole troop eliminated from the cell. Please don't do that. It's you can't bad. even talk about it. No words. We can sh we can show you what it is. Looks like this. They're chocolates, they're nuts, and they are um, magazines, magazines, tumblers, educational kit subscriptions, but we cannot sell them because you have not gotten anything to sell them with. They're very so strict. Very, very, very strict. There are and people called whistleblowers and they They're will get watching. Everybody's watching. The whole troop. And you'll get us all banned and then they won't let us collect any money for it. So please, yes. please, please do not sell. Or talk. Or talk. Advertise. Or get any pre -s Well, I'm just getting pre-sales. Well, I'm not collecting any money. No, don't no. do that. Don't do it. Because you might think... Nobody is listening, nobody cares, but there's somebody around you whose kid is in Girl Scouts and knows that you can't do that, and we're going to get turned in. So please don't do that. Um, Trinity did step up and want to do the fall product sales manager position as well as heading up the troop, which means we really, really need a lot of parent participation to make sure the troop is successful. I, again, I can't stress it enough that there is an adult for every girl <laughs> an adult for every girl that is signed up to be a Girl Scout member. So we have enough adult volunteers for each thing. And it they doesn't have to be a order. girl or it, it doesn't have to be a mom. It could be a dad too. Go ahead. I they can't. get the orders and then about like a week or two. I think it's about a month after they get the product. Then you deliver the product to the people. It's not that hard. Um, the training, the the packet, you will get all the stuff on the six. It's yeah, yeah. It's not like cookies. No. We don't we don't have that stuff. You uh, it's uh, you fill out the order form. Look, look at the camera. You fill out the order this is, form. This is the camera. The little dot right here. Uh, we're live. See what's this one? Okay. You fill out the order form. You give it back to us. We relay it to the council. They give us the product. You give it to the, your customer. Okay. It's 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 really straightforward and easy, but it's absolutely don't try to sell it before time. And you'll get more information on the 6th when you come back for the next meeting. Um, evidently, we are ordering gluten-free cookies. Yes, we are going to, I'm going to order a case for a girl. If you want more than that, let me know. I can do two cases for a girl. Um, Thanks for confirming. You're welcome. Um, but I, I don't. If you want more than one case for a girl, I'm order. I'm ordering one case, which is twelve boxes of gluten-free cookies for one girl. So there's thirty girls. There's thirty cases. Now, if your girl doesn't want to take a case, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. That's why we have cookie booths. Just let me know yes. beforehand if you don't want any of the gluten-free cookies, and then we won't plan for that. Yes. No problem. And let me know beforehand if you want more than one box. Yes, case. You've got case. One yes. more than one yes. case. Like you, like some of you were like, oh, I could have sold three or four cases. Well, you would really need to let her know that. Let me know. And hopefully they taste good because they have no gluten, which is the good stuff. So I don't know how that works. Anyway, we'll go on from there. So there are PDFs that are, are going to be at the end, the links for that, that you have to sign. You guys need to get these things into Trinity. Um, her text her her phone number will be at the end as well as her email so when you complete the pdfs just send them over to her so she has them and she can she can keep them all for you guys um ashley is gonna peyton's mom is going to be the uh, treasurer i or yes she's gonna keep she she and carly's mom tracy. tracy are both on the bank account so we need um 
you to see Ashley, to give her your dues, to give her, to check in with her so she knows that you're there because she's going to be doing the attendance as well. Um, so the troop meeting starts at 6 o'clock. When you don't get there at 6 o'clock, your girl misses part of the meeting. Um, we do like an opening type thing from 6 to 6.10. Um, and then 6.10 to 6.40, they work on the badges. The badges, the Girl Scout badge work is for a Girl Scout badge. The badges by the Girl Scout Council. Um, you can look in the thegirlscoutshop.com for what those are. And you can understand why the prices on those are high so that we cannot accommodate to have those for the girls at every meeting or every month. That's why we're waiting till after each of the sales to be able to have those on hand for the girls. There is a, a break from 6.40 to 6.50. That um, So if your girl comes in at 6.15, they've already missed some of the badge work for that badge. It is extremely important that they're there, but if they've missed it, they can... What did you say? Miss the badge work. What are you wanting them badge to do? Badge work. Journey badges. Journey badges, daisy petals. We're going to, this is how I'm doing it. Because I did to, it different. So. You're going to have to wait till the next time around. And we, if we have time, say if there's like a flex week where it's an extra week in that uh, month and we have extra time in that month to go over the petals or the badges or what have you, uh, we'll go over it in group, but you're not we're not doing it at home Fun badges are done at home. Other than that the rest of the the front patchwork is not done at home The Girl Scout patches are all the ones that go on the front if you saw some of the girls uh, vests, they have um, a bunch of stuff on the back. Those are all from snappy logo Those are all the ones that are just fun patches fun patches can always be done on their own. They can always go and have some fun. If you go to a, a someplace and they get they earn a patch, they can they can wear their patch, and they we would love for them to tell the troop about yeah. what they learned and, and how much fun it was. That's great. But as far as the journey badges and the patches and the pins and all the stuff that's Girl Scout related, they have to do that with the troop. Um, there's a difference from being a troop, a Girl Scout, and a troop, or a Girl Scout that's a Juliet. A Juliet does all her own work all by herself. There, she is not a member of a troop. She is a lone Girl Scout. And if if that's what you are trying to do is do your work on your own, that's called a Juliet. If you're in a troop, you do your stuff with a troop and you got to go along with what the troop is doing, okay? And if you have more questions on that, please feel free to go ahead and text Trin. I'm, getting, like I said, going to add her number in and send it to you guys as well. Okay, there is a girl health history record, a adult health history record that is needed for all of the adult volunteers there is an annual permission slip all these are pdf forms that are fillable that you can fill in and email to trinity and she will have on hand for you yes and we want those in by the fifth or not the fifth by sunday at 5 p.m emailed to me wow so we have it and we're not frantically looking i just want them all in one place and if you have any questions let me know and so she'll text you if she doesn't she'll text you if she doesn't have those so hopefully you'll get them too okay um, the fun patchwork is from 650 to 720 again that's from the snappy logo site and then we do a closing at 720 to 730 now normally you would do an opening with the flag and the songs and everything at the beginning but because we found sometimes people are coming from off of work sometimes schedules happen and kids are not coming in on time at six o'clock we kind of switched everything from 7:20 to 7:30, and we end promptly at 7:30. so if you are not a parent that is volunteering that night you must be there at 7:30 to get your girl please and if you want to be there from 7:20 to 7:30 for the closing ceremony you're more than welcome to do that we would much rather you be there early than late okay so because the goal would always be to end at 7:30. And then, of course, Trinity is available to answer any questions that you might have. Okay, so I don't know if you want me to talk about the Daisy Petals journeys. I think you're going to talk about that later. Um, we're also going to include the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. So if they haven't learned that, there's a bunch of songs, but that's mostly for leaders, right? Yeah. Okay. The safety person. Oh, I need a safety person. We need a safety person. A safety person is one that is going to keep track. A safety officer. 
It's a safety officer. We have a manual, um, and there is a site on the Girl Scouts website of someone that's going to keep track of, like, all the permission slips. Do we have everything in place? Like, we're going to this place. Do we need a first aid kit? Do we have everything ready it's, to be able to do It's going to be that? someone we can rely on. Yeah. Well, that <laughs> we don't want to say that we can't rely on you. That but it, we, we really need you we to be need there. To, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. That you're going to... I mean, I understand not every single outing, but the majority of outings, the majority of meetings, not the Plan B. Girl Scouts is yes. Plan B. Yes. It, uh, we want Girl Scouts to be priority on Thursdays and the second Saturday of every month. Yes. It's... It makes it, when you make it a priority, they make it a priority. When it's exciting and important to you, it will be exciting and important to them. And I know that's your goal. That's why you got them in Girl Scouts is because you want them to have that leadership ability. You want them to be independent. You want them to be free thinkers. And we want that too, but we want to enable them to be able to do that. So they can't do that unless they're there. She's getting tired. So we're, we're going we're gonna to wrap this up. So she had some other stuff that she wanted to yeah. go over with you. So we're turning it over to her. I'm just right here. Okay. There you go. Hold on. Oh, she's got her new iPhone X, and now it won't open. It's it's fighting with her. It's not, it's it is. It's fighting with her. It's really funny. It's I'm trying to talk while it you're opened with just, my face. Cause it's, it's the anyway, iPhone go ahead. They're just all funny. right. Attendance. Um, we want Girl Scouts to be the Plan A on Thursdays and the first, the second Saturday of every month. Not the plan B, C, D, not the option. Oh, well, it's not to barter, you know. Um, the more your girl comes, the more investment, the more you'll see what you want out of it. We don't want her there if she has a fever or throwing up. Yes. Stay home. It's exactly. Okay. I mean, like, it's, it's, we really, if you want to see the most out of Girl Scouts, you really have to make it a priority. Um, and it makes it fair for the rest of the girls. That's why I, I've, uh, I've realized that if everybody can just get any badge without coming to every meeting, um, it, it kind of downplays the rest of the girls who's made it a priority for every Thursday and every uh, second Saturday of the month. Every Saturday following the second Thursday. It's not always the second Saturday. I know it just If it's the second Thursday. It's not because sometimes it's like the third Saturday because if the Saturday fell on the first. Second or third Saturday. It's whatever Saturday follows the second Thursday of the month. Second or third th Saturday. It's just horrible. I know. I'm the sorry. Saturday outings. The Saturday Whoever outings. Whoever makes the Saturday outings yes. important. Um, I just, if, if we're making it a priority to do it and other parents and other girls are making it a priority, I don't feel like we should downplay those people who are making it a priority. Yes. yes. Um, that's why. That's why my second point. Um, we're not doing the journey badges at home, the daisy petals, anything on the front of the vest. It's all being done in the Girl Scout group with your Girl Scout and all your brownie friends and daisy friends and junior, junior friends. friends. All your friends. You know, it just makes it a little bit more important. Tight important a little bit more responsibility um volunteering if we get enough volunteers we will only have to have you guys volunteer twice a month once or twice um of course on the outings we you're not gonna leave your girls at the outings it's not gonna happen you're gonna stay for the outing and make sure that we're all coherent and good um <laughs> If That's we want everybody doing. to be able to participate, and we want yes. safety for all the girls. And, and we don't want you guys to get burnt out. I know last year we had parents who didn't want to stay, but they stayed because they knew it was help. Um, you don't want to burn out your parents, and at the end of the day, it's it, we want it to be fun. It's enjoyable. Yes. So the more parents we get to volunteer, the less you have to volunteer. There you go. Um, so, and then the new thing that I wanted to implement is rewards, um, at the end of the month with, uh, at, the your, awards night. at your awards night, rewards at the awards night. And it's not going to be a badge. I mean, it might be a fun patch, but I want it to be something little, something small that the girls can get in addition to their fun badges. If they had good dress code, good attendance, uh, memorizing their Girl Scout Law and Promise. Um, and participations um, with your outings. Um, those are things that I want to reward so we can get a bigger turnout. Um, some, some girls make it a priority to be in uniform, which is the white shirt, 
shorts or pants, close-toed shoes. I I don't particularly do that. I need to get better at that. What close-toed, close-toed shoes, shoes and your yeah. vest? Yes, the we the 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 uniform last year was the vest with a white polo and jeans and close-toed shoes, and that that really is the best thing, especially jeans or shorts. We're yeah, with it jeans depends or on where you're going because it's hot sometimes. Um, Sandra's question or Sandra's comment was that she was going to be at all the meetings and outings and help every time, but she has her little one. The only thing, and I'm just going to mention this real quick, we we. We would love for you to be available at the meeting if in the event there was the appointed person not there. We do not want every parent at every meeting because that defeats the purpose of your daughter being independent and being able to learn those leadership skills. Um, Even though every parent will not work in a group with their own daughter, ever. Um, because it defeats, again, that purpose of them being independent and learning those leadership skills. So you would always work with a group of girls and your daughter's not in that group. And the little one is perfectly fine. That's where the tag-along insurance comes in, as long as the little one is under your control, as well as you still being yes, able to we get... Can't, we can't have the... I understand babies cry and... Oh, and yeah, the, yeah. It happens, um, but it's not the baby's... Girl Scout group, right? It's the girls Girl Scout group, right? And we want they're they're just as important, yeah. Um, and we want to emphasize that you are important, and this is your time. And um, if the baby is causing an interruption in the group, I I, this because I'm running the group now. I'm going to have to ask you to step out just until we get that under control, um, because it's about the girls. The goal is for you to be able to give that undivided attention to To those three or five girls that you have for really you have them for like less than an an hour hour. 45 minutes and the hour is is split it's not even like a full hour straight through like you have like 20 30 minutes and then you have a 10 minute break then you have another 20 30 minutes you don't really have them a whole lot and so I, i i love the fact that you're willing to volunteer and i'm not saying that you can't it's just if 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 your attention is diverted then we we would have to ask that situation. Yeah. That's fine. The little one won't be in the outing. Oh, and I understand. The outing on Saturdays is a lot different usually because I mean, we, every yes. parent, uh, every I, girl has to have at least one parent, but yeah. the meetings The meetings is are a big different one. Because yes. it's very congested it's and loud. It's a very and, small area. Yeah. Um, it's already hard enough to get the girl's attention that late in the afternoon. And when you add just a little bit of distraction when it's j- j- Play-Doh, for example, and one girl has Play-Doh and the other girl doesn't, it's a it's a big distraction for that late in the afternoon. And it's a lot different if you have, like, I know Alexandria has the little boy and he's, like, three, and he sits on a tablet. Like, that is isn't that is a non-issue. Like, I don't, that that doesn't seem to, I don't think that's a it's, problem. It's not a problem so long as they're he's able to quiet. contain himself. It's yeah. quiet. It's yeah. not, I, my concern is not to accommodate for the, sun. the non, yes. the non-girl scale. The non-girl, the tag along. The, the tag along. Let's that, that, and the tag I, along as, is not the problem, I, I, yes. I can't say it any other way aside from getting my point across that I will. She's a little more blunt. It's good. That, that's, Very that's direct. our goal. Just so, yes. <laughs> just so we know that, just so there's no confusion. Yes. Um, Very that's good. what's going to be happening. And, uh, snacks. We are, are not doing, doing snacks? snacks. Oh, good. I didn't want to do We are snacks. not doing snacks. So please feed your girl something. I did bring water. That. Yes, yes. Please bring water. There's no water. There's a water. Is there water? Fountain. No, there's a sink. We have a sink. It's a sink in the bathroom. We have right? a sink in the bathroom. We're not gonna give them water. And we, that's we have all no we way have. to give them water. So. Um, snack takes up too much time, too much time. for our especially gonna, thirty girls. There's no way. Yeah, and but um, I know Ashley mentioned that it's Kennedy's birthday next week, and I said if you want to bring something, you can, and we'll make time for that, of course. Um, they can have it as they need. You can have it as you need, <laughs> or we'll make just a little bit of time to sing happy birthday or what have you. Um, that's no problem, but snack every meeting, it's not going to happen. If you guys uh, just so happen to stop by Costco and say, oh, I would love to bring this for the Girl Scouts, then yeah, of course. But it's not our priority. It's our priority is not snack time. No, it's to teach the girls how to be independent. And that we tried. And to be Girl Scouts. It, I, I, yes. Yeah, we tried it last year, and and it just became this whole like snack monster. No one wanted to volunteer. Then Who other people snack wanted is to it volunteer. This week? I thought it was my snack yeah. this week, and then two people brought snacks, and nobody brought snack, and it was just like, oh my gosh. And we will try um, 
on the awards nights. We'll oh, try. Yeah, we'll different. try for a potluck. Yeah, that's a good. Thing. Um, we'll try sign ups and all that good stuff. We'll have somebody head that up. Um, and the potluck, it, but the potluck up. is not the primary focus. No, the girls. The girls. The girls are the primary and their activity. focus. Yes. Thank you, Mercedes, for volunteering. Yes. Also. Oh. And She's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I. I am just. Did you have more? I'm very uh, excited for this year. I'm excited for all the new girls. I'm excited for all the participation that we're going to have. Um, hopefully this year we can get the group awards for what we're selling. Like last year when we sold cookies, we were maybe a little shy, I would say, for the, the little yeah. sweatshirts. And there's group participation. It, that means if all the girls sell a certain amount, the whole group gets an award and I'm not too familiar if we get that for fall I have to look into it but just keep that in mind for um, cookies um, if your girl sells a certain amount with the rest of the group yeah you we all win and that was, and that's it's no yeah. pressure if you're struggling let us know let me that's know why we have and cookie booths. we'll we'll accommodate yeah. and I just wanted to read what the gluten-free cookie was and really? it's a caramel chocolate chip it's glue. This is gluten and peanut free cookie. It's made with quality ingredients and features rich caramel, sweet semi chocolate chips, and a hint of sea salt. So, if you guys are interested in selling that, let me know, and uh, <laughs> we'll we'll see if we can get your allotted cases. Because it says that the council gets a certain amount of cases. Yes. And if the amount exceeds that, then they you don't get it. So yeah, and if you're let me know the first. Like uh, I would say, by next week when we meet on Thursday, if you can let me know, probably a, around a roundabout. Um, if not, I'm just gonna order a flat thirty, and then we're gonna have to do with that. So cool, cool. Alrighty, and I oh. got a new phone number. So whoever oh, has my yeah. phone number, I know they. Oh, these forgot. two don't. These two don't. But these the other don't. people, <laughs> yeah. other people have my phone number. Um, it's gonna be in the link below, and so will my email. Um, I don't. I tend not to answer calls. I don't know the number, but I always try to answer texts. I'm not the fastest texter. And I, I put that very clearly to them. They, we are not gonna answer phone calls. Like, I, I try. Uh, I, I'm a little said, bit more accommodating um <laughs> just because i don't like to sit there and text the whole time i just like to get it out of the way um so if you have a question um and it's a good time for me either call me and leave a message or text me or send an email you know it's the 21st century facebook messenger me um and and then she would hopefully be able to not have to if it's a question she ends up having to answer two or three times yeah. then she might have to do I'll a just video. do a video or a yeah. post or and something I, and several of them said they liked the video because they could go mm -hmm. back and listen to it over and over okay alrighty I know this took way longer than we wanted it to so if again you have any questions please feel free to add them there's somebody else. oh Ashley Bye, Ashley. Bye, Ashley. You come to end. <laughs> We're waving at you. We love you. Okay, we will talk at you guys later. And again, if you have any questions, oh, I probably won't be talking to you. I, I'll see you at the awards. Um, that's it. Yeah, so if we can just, uh, I know it's hard, but just seize the, the, contact, the contact with my mom and just roll it over to me. Yes. So she doesn't have to keep on... Say, oh, this person let me know, or this person let yeah. me know. Um, be. Just because she forgets, I and you will get your feelings hurt. Oh, well, she's not answering I my calls. She will, feelings. she just, she is absent-minded at times. We are going through, a, we're going through a big move at home. Yeah. So be patient with us. Um, there's a lot going on at home. So yes. be patient. If you have anything that you need answered, let me know, and I will do my best to get in contact with you. Um other than that, we're excited. We're excited for the change. Um, yeah. Okay. Love you guys, and we'll talk later.